welcome once more it's another wednesday and i'm glad to be here guys please if you're just joining power tap your screen share the live broadcast so we get more participants uh but before we start you know i love to introduce myself it is your girl Martha Gibbs, aka mama bk and the one and only original mrs mike usually we come on this platform to talk about life for africans in the diaspora we discuss the good the bad and the ugly and today our topic is okay let's start by welcoming a few participants elvis chair thanks for joining loso thanks for joining lawen thanks for joining dam th dan thanks for joining mary thanks for joining oh uh, mr ernest thanks for joining me oh uh, i think this my dress is not the best because i it's like i'll not be able to see your comments properly because of this white i'm just thinking about it now i was really trying to avoid white but i ended up still having white on um she done thanks for joining and mr miles okay that is that for those who are always active hello mr oh my god hello mr nee thanks for joining i see you hi how are you doing sir we already have people sending their requests oh my god this is amazing this is amazing people are already sending their requests when we have not even introduced the topic though i know some of you hello mr nee please unmute yourself you're welcome sir please unmute yourself Let me help you. Yes. No, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, okay, okay. He left. We are sorry, sir, but usually we, we invite people and we let people come by themselves. So if you want to join, you can send us a request or let me know in the comment section and I'm going to invite you. Uh, today we'll be discussing about some of the habits you think people should avoid in the diaspora and back home in Africa. Because we are all about life for Africans and the diaspora. And we love discussing about what is happening to us, some of the harsh realities, things we don't like to discuss about. Mm -hmm. We want people to start sharing this. We want people to share their experiences so others can learn. You guys are not power tapping. I don't understand. Please power tap your screen. Please power tap your screen. Power tap your screen. Power tap your screen. Tap your screen. Remember, I, I encourage you all to come with your ideas because your ideas are very important to us. We value them. Remember, we said no one's opinion is insignificant. So don't be discouraged. Wow, I really do appreciate. Thanks for power tapping. Hello, Mr. Knock Holdings. Thanks for joining. <laughs> yeah wow 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 you guys are amazing you guys are amazing keep power tapping keep power tapping and invite your friends you can even share so we get more participants you can even share please you can share some of these things that are happening to us we are doing them there are some things we want to change about ourselves but because we have never spoken about it no one has ever said anything about it we think uh 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 we think it's very good. We think some of those habits are very good because no one has pinpointed them out. So we think, uh, mm, 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 because no one is talking about it, it's good. What are some of the things happening around your neighborhood that you think people should change? People should be doing the other way around. Especially as Africans in the diaspora, particularly our UAE. I want to talk about our UAE because I'm in the UAE. Most Africans in this UAE, because what i really want to talk about is the fact that most of us africans in the uae we don't have ambulance back in africa or in some of our areas or let me say regions in africa coming to uae we don't see the need to use ambulance i don't know why because the video i made yesterday 
I've had so many people attacking me. They're reminding me that we don't have ambulance in Africa. It's not like we don't have. You can say we don't have enough. Or maybe when you call, they are always very late. Maybe they will come when the person is already dead or you've used another means of transportation. But if you find yourself in the UAE, they say when you go to Rome, do what the Romans do. Now you're in the UAE or Europe and America. Make use of it. Those things are there for you to use them. Don't let someone die for no reason. You yourself, don't kill yourself by yourself because uh, we don't have ambulance in Africa, so I'll not be calling them here. Why? So guys, I'll be sending invites. <laughs> I'll be sending invites. If you're interested, you can come up so we can discuss some of those things happening around your neighborhood that you want people to change. You want your fellow Africans Hello, Mr. Simon. Yes. Thanks for joining. Good evening to you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you too? I'm cool. Okay. So since we are discussing about the things happening to us and around our neighborhood, that would love people to change or do it in another way. What can you say? What's happening around your area? By the way, no, please start by telling us what? Come again. Okay. We are discussing about some bad habits around our neighborhood or around us or happening to us that we want people to change or do it in another way. No, okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, so changes like that it depend on changes like that it depend on individual. Okay. It, it, the proverb, it is a proverb that it said that you make your best shall so shall you lie on it. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of majority of people that even if you do what they can never change in their attitude and it's in their habit. But there are some people that they can easily change depending on the environment or where they are. So it actually depends on individual. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. So please, where are you streaming from? I'm in Dubai. Wow, amazing. So since you've been in Dubai, you've not seen anything that anybody is doing around you that you think is wrong, and maybe you don't expect that person to be doing it that way. Maybe like most of us, we know that uh, alcohol is not allowed. For you to consume alcohol in the UAE, you need to have a license. You're not allowed to sell alcohol, but some people are selling alcohol. You're not allowed to abuse alcohol, but some people are abusing yeah. alcohol. So there are some illegal activities that normally we understand that they are wrong. Yeah, I'm getting it. Yes. But some people think, some people even do it with pride. They, they are even boastful about it. Yeah. Well, you guys uh, are amazing. Keep power tapping, keep power tapping. One, for me, I take it as a, as a one. I'm not an alcohol lover. I don't even take alcohol. That's mm. the first thing. Secondly, some people are doing it illegally in here, here in Dubai is because of out of frustration. They don't have any other thing to do. Okay. They don't have a job that they can sustain living. Mm -hmm. People put themselves in risk because they want to to get. To sustain life so yeah those are the cases that they happen before people begin to do all those type of things you understand that yeah you're right but, you're right but for me for me i believe if you have an opportunity to leave your country go to another place that you are looking for a greener patch of mm. if you reach there if you see that bearing a risk which is not allowed, which can even damage your future, that can even damage yourself. I see, for me, taking that type of risk here in Dubai, 
I prefer let me go back to my country because I understand and I believe that the majority of Cameroon, because I'm from Cameroon, the majority wow. of those who are living in Cameroon mm -hmm. and those who are living out, the percentage is always 80-20. What do I mean by 80-20? I mean that the foreigner in Cameroon are 20% and those who are living in Cameroon are 80%. You understand? No yeah. matter how things become difficult, there will never be a day that Cameroonians that are living outside and the one that they are living in Cameroon, they will be 60, 40, impossible. They will always remain 20, 80. Mm. So I'm not above the other people that they are living among the 80 percent. So if I see that I can take any risks, I prefer let me go back home. I meet my family. Wow amazing so yeah. another thing i would like to share with you and i would like you to share your contribution on that and anyone who is in the comment section if you are interested you can as well send your request there is this aspect of most africans who are in the diaspora they feel like when they have not made it they cannot go back they feel like it's a taboo to go back and you have people ridicule you people laughing at you they'll make mockery of you that you've gone and you've spent years and you're coming back with nothing that's why some people will rather prefer that even if it is death it should meet them here yeah actually it's like that but for me i see that so many people face those things out of pride you understand okay and when, you, and when you have the spirit of pride your your reward in in the kingdom of god it ends in 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 hell what do i mean when you carry pride and cover yourself you fall into sin mm. you impl implicate your family into trouble into problems maybe tomorrow because we are living in the world that we are living at the last days yeah yeah if you come if you come that you want to look for something and you could not get it at the time that you needed or you are not patient because one thing to is patient mm. yeah because some people before they leave their home they just believe that immediately they enter the plane they are already rich if you mm -hmm. have that mentality in their head you will see that when you go out you will easily succeed because there are some certain jobs that when you come outside they give you offer you minimize just because of the knowledge that you already have in your head that yeah. this one let me as i'm coming like this let me make money fast yeah because there are some people that they are here they give them an offer of one thousand there are one thousand two hundred dirham a job they will minimize it Mm. They are looking for a job that maybe they are look that they will pay them maybe three, four thousand, five thousand dirham. Comparing, you cannot come today and compare with somebody that has, has already been in the system for about one or two, three, four, five years. Yeah, has experienced the life. Then you come today, you want to compare yourself with that type of a person that maybe you see that he's telling you that he's earning four thousand or five thousand dirham. Your head is only impressed because you enter a plane. He enter a play, you don't know how he started, and your blessings with him is not the same, and it will never be the same. Wow. So one yeah. point I can I can get from this your um this your contribution is uh the spirit of comparison is something you think yeah. people should change. Yes, people should change about that one. That yeah. Is the first, spirit yeah, of the comparison. Yes. yes comparison they should not be comparing themselves with the so with people don't compare yourself even mm -hmm. if somebody is working with ten thousand dirham you have only a one thousand dirham they, that man with his problem of ten to ten thousand will never help you to solve your own so concentrate maybe from that there are one thousand tomorrow god may lift you up to another level Thank you so much, Mr. Simon, because I want to, I'll be noting down points. So at the end of the day, I can see how many points we've gotten from this life. So the first point is uh, the spirit of comparison is number one, that yeah. people need to eliminate from their system if they know they want to yeah. be successful or to live longer. Yeah. 
Wow. Secondly, right. Secondly, right. Okay. Yeah. Then, because then, pride will deprive you from going then, back to Cameroon if you yeah. not hammer. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. Then, then the shame. Don't be ashamed. Mm. Yeah. Comparison, pride, and do not be ashamed. Yes. Yeah. You know, another thing is, usually we fail to understand that we all have our destinies. Maybe, we said this thing on our last live show, maybe your place to prosper, your destination to prosper is not UAE. And you come to UAE, you're killing yourself that you've not made it. You want to make it like Sam, you, you want to make it like Suzanne, you want to make it like Paul. Maybe that's Paul's destination to prosper. Maybe you even came to, came to UAE just to learn something and go back. But now you're kidding yourself that others are making it. Why am I not making it? You're questioning yourself, you're questioning God. And maybe your place, of, like your destined place of prosperity, is even that Africa, that Cameroon that you're coming from, all that Nigeria. Maybe we're just supposed to learn something in that your UAE. Go back to Cameroon and prosper. Just by you trying to practice what you learned out there. But no, yeah. because most of us are full of pride, comparison. We are usually ashamed. What will people say? My family members, obviously, your family members will insult you, they will gossip about you. But these are some of the harsh realities we need to accept that it's always like this you accept it from within live with it it will not cost That's you anything maybe to go back home with nothing nothing after several days of being at work and you go and look for your one small carabot house and you stay there struggling to progress struggling to come out of that difficult situation you're finding yourself but no we want to live abroad go home rent a very huge house a house that you yourself cannot be afford you know you cannot afford but no because you want to prove a point to people you already know the point you know you don't have you know you've not made it but you want to prove a point to people who don't even care irrelevant people people who are not supposed to even be your point of concern you, what are people thinking about me? What are people saying about me? Whether you like, even if you're saying people will gossip about you. Yeah. Even you're the most kind person on earth, people will gossip about you. They must look for something to talk about you. I, like that's something I don't understand because the person I am now, it's not like you gossiping about me will not hurt me. It will hurt me, but I know you will gossip about me. It's not like you insulting me. <laughs> I don't know someone who, is, who insults me someday. I know someone who insults me. Yeah. I know someone who insults me about maybe the decisions I made or some of my mistakes. I know it will hurt me, but I'll move on. I will live with it because it is something I've come to understand that it is part of life, especially this human race. It's part of human race. Gossip, insult, biting, cheating in fact and and many others hello Chichabi. thanks for joining please we really want to hear from you today it's been a while so again your advice to the people today is they should, they should stop comparison they should try to limit the spirit of pride because whether we like it or not everybody has pride but it yeah. just depends on how you manage your own pride. Yeah. How you manage yourself. Yeah. And another thing you say we should not be ashamed. You cannot, you, you, you must be ashamed at some point. There are some things you do and you'll be like, I, I see things. Yeah. It's a shameful yeah. act, you know? But yeah. it all depends on how you manage it. Hello, Mr. Let me tell you. When I say we should not be ashamed, there are certain things that when you do, eh, yeah, you will be ashamed. But when you know the cause of a problem, 
where you know that it causes problems, you'll be ashamed. But life is not something that if it is difficult on you, you are not the cause of it. Why should you be ashamed? To- yes, I, I, I appreciate mm-hmm. you for that. That's another yeah. thing you so, should understand. There are things that you must be ashamed because then let me say if you if you fornicate with somebody's wife as a man or as a married woman, you fornicate with another man. That is a shameful thing. Yeah. You cannot you cannot sustain that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But life is something that it comes natural. You don't know the time that it knock at their door, you don't know the day that it, your own blessings will come. Mm-hmm. So why should you be ashamed if things are difficult in you? Maybe it's and a little mm-hmm. mistake that you do. Or maybe it's not their fault. Mm. Thank you so much. In everything will be saying. I want us to relate it to the present situation we have right now as Africans. I will generalize it as Africans because remember, I don't know, the echo is really coming from your side. From my side? Yeah, when I speak, I can still hear myself from you. Um, no, I don't think I should be the one there. Eh? Okay, because the other person we have here, he muted himself. After this, I would love to hear from him. Hello, Mr. Investor Japan. Thanks for joining. You're here. Just give me a moment. I'll give you the floor. I want us to relate everything we are uh, discussing today to the the recent issue we have at hand. Remember, I made a video yesterday that we lost a Cameroonian sister. She has been sick for a very long time, for more than a year, as I heard. And she was just struggling to manage on her own. And some people around her, her neighbors, have been encouraging her to go back home. But she didn't have enough money. She wanted to hustle again for a while, like up to the end, but then she can go back home. But unfortunately, you never know when you're going to die. You never know when the worst is going to happen to you. She she passed away. And we have that situation now as Africans. Yeah. And by that the grace of God, Yes, by the grace of God, tomorrow I'll be coming up with another video because it's a burden on all of us. How will her mom go back to Cameroon? Her mom hasn't seen her for years, and at least Mr. Investor, are you saying something? I'm talking to my brother to mute. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Simon, please mute yourself. Yes, okay, thank you so much. That is a bone we have on our throat as Africans. Her remains needs to go back to Cameroon. And since this is our platform, we are always about life for Africans in the diaspora. The only relative she has here is her younger brother that she brought. And he's working with, I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't mention his company. But he's working with a company I, I really know very well. So I'm trying to connect with him. And I'll come back to you guys latest on Friday so we can see what we can do as Africans who are interested about African issues. Because this her sister was down for years, like I told you guys, a Cameroonian, a Cameroonian, and she has not been working. She has not been working. She has just been struggling. She was taking courses, trying to elevate herself. And that's what we are all about. We are all about Africans elevating themselves so they can get better jobs. But unfortunately for her, it could be anybody. It could be you listening to me. It could be me. But it has happened to her. I just think we should, as little as it can be, as small as one dirham, it will go a long way to help her. That's what I believe. But I'll try my best to come with, to meet her younger brother so we can get his account because they're really struggling to make sure her remains can go back to Cameroon. You know, tomorrow is never promised. We don't know how long we are going to live. We don't know what's going to happen to us the next second. We don't even know if we're going to sleep this night and wake up tomorrow. But it's only by the grace of God. We keep waking up and we are grateful for that. We appreciate God for keeping us alive and healthy. Another thing I want us to learn, as I said in that video, please, Africans in the UAE, whatever situation you have around you, be it an accident or whatever, please call an ambulance. Like, it will not cost you anything. Call an ambulance. Because they are the best people to administer first aid. 
Welcome, D. Thanks for joining. They are the best people to administer first aid. Most of us Africans, even this first aid training, we don't attend. We don't even know what to do if something happens to, to someone, be it a high blood pressure person, be it uh, epilepsy, be it asthma, be it fire burn, anything. We don't know what to do. Even if someone just faints in front of you, some people don't even know what to do. So please, whatever the situation may be, call an ambulance. I mean, the ambulance are waiting, 999. If 999, nine, like 9 cube, 9, 3 times, call us. Call these people, just dial 999. Okay. Another thing I want us to learn from her experience. It's a very bad experience. And trust me, you don't want to see it. Because the people who were around her, you don't want to imagine what they went through. Her roommates, the people in that villa, you don't want to experience such a thing. But it happened. Okay, someone says ambulance in the UAE is 998. Okay, thank you so much. 998. Yeah, 999 is the police. 998 is the ambulance. Please, we just... We, I know we are not familiar with it, but please. Okay, 999 is the police, 998 is the ambulance, 997 is fire Se fighters. Seven seven okay. 997 nine is civil What? 997 is... Civil defense, civil defense. Civil defense, okay. Like, guys, please, let's, let's cram these things. It's, it's as important as your life. Because you don't know who you'll be around. Or you don't know if it's going to happen to you. And maybe you'll be the person to tell them it is 999, it is 998, or it is 997. So they can call and save you. We lost an African sister for those who are just joining. We lost an African sister. And usually on this our platform, we, some, somebody is here, Mr. Ture. He says, woman, you speak too much. I don't know why you're here. Because we are here to talk about you and I. So if you're offended that I talk too much, I don't know what you're doing here. Please, can I ask a question? Okay, sir. Is that ambulance for free? Obviously, yes. Ambulance is for free? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. What, <laughs> before, I, before, I, before I go, I, I will not be the talk. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, my guy is talking about ambulance. Ambulance is for free. First aid they will give you is free. That's that is what, what they are for. First aid to give to to make to give first aid. That's what they are. Then if you have insurance, they will take you to to, to the hospital, hospital. If you are, if you can afford your your bill in the hospital, they will take you to the hospital of your choice. But what they are for for you for them to attend first aid to you. So, but coming coming to to our sister that just passed away. May I so rest in peace, child. But um, there is one thing I want to say. Because I, I may not have the time to say it, I say it in this program before I, before I, I go. There, 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 there is, there is, there is an important, there, is, there, there are importance of being belonging to one group or the other or, or, or community in everywhere you find yourself. Why I say so is that each, each everybody, everybody from each country has their own group or something like meeting. They, 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 they used to attend maybe once in a week or something like that. If you belong to a group, if anything happened to you, even even if it's an emergency or anything else, there will be people that will look after you and fight for you to fight fight for you in in, in every issue. And it's also it's also, it's also important for you to have close friends that are that are close to you within your surrounding within your surrounding first because they will be the ones that will respond to you first before outsiders, people that are mm -hmm. far. Because some people might be at work, some people might not be at work, but your people around you, 
we we attend to you first i was saying this because one of my one of my roommates one of my roommates she was from from nepal but due to she was a lady he has a good job he has a, a emirates id he has went to vacation and come back the girl was stressed and depressed he wants to commit suicide mm. he was cutting his his hands with a with with, with scissors uh, scissors although it's not sharp but it was you can see the attempt that she she made she made many times if if that we are not there that day the worst would have happened that girl was 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 a loner or the, the girl was on, only on his own if mind his work his work his bed his work his bed we would have no but due to we, we used to chat well, if, he's, if, he, if he's looking we chat if he's if he's around if, if we see we chat as friends that's why we know what was going on we had one that called the call the ambulance and everything they, they attend to her they know they take over from from us Mm. It's good to know people that is going to help you in time of need. I'm keep on saying this in time in times of need. No, am um, no police number, no ambulance <laughs> number, no civil defense numbers because their works are different, and no mm. uh, fire service number because their works are different. Before they will transfer you from from A to B, it's better you call call the the, the right number the, 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 the right. Because yeah. because because police police will say police will tell you to wait that you transfer to 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 fire service then they will transfer or transfer to ambulance so you better you if you know the number direct you call direct i need ambulance please even if you can say two or three words i need ambulance this is my location full stop mm -hmm. so it's good for us to know all these things because uh, 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 nobody knows who uh, somebody has held you today might, might break down tomorrow and yeah. if he doesn't know when he's going to break down so it, it, it's good for us to know all these things and mm -hmm. have a community we belong to mm -hmm. It means the point you're giving is Africans should learn to belong to a community. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. P. Man. You know, we need some of these points. Hello, Sunrise. Hello, uh, Mr. Tala Wills. Uh, hello, Jamo. And yes, how are you guys doing? Hope great. So today we are discussing about some of the bad habits that we have as Africans in the diaspora and even back home. And some of the bad mentality we carry from Africa to diaspora, wherever you find yourself. Because we just have a very sad situation where we lost a Cameroonian sister and it's really a very, very bad situation. And presently, her family members are struggling to get her remains back to Cameroon because her mom hasn't seen her for years. Her mom has not seen her for years. And the only opportunity she has to see her child again is if they successfully take her remains back to Cameroon. So we are just discussing what do you think? Africans should erase from their minds. May what I do ask? you think Africans should learn? Hello, Mr. Sorry. Jamu. Hello, I'm sorry evening. that I came. I'm sorry that I came in late. I don't okay. even know like what happened to the lady before the lady is lost in her life. Same, Please, who is speaking? Question. Who is yeah, what happened? Who is speaking? Investor, investor, I'm the one. Okay, okay. Mr. Investor, she was actually she lost her job. So she was actually looking for another job. Then she fell sick. She has been sick for more than a year. Yeah. She has been sick for a very long time. But she didn't want to go back home because she didn't have any savings. Or let me say she felt like she didn't have enough. So she was actually planning to go back home in December. Because she wanted to work for, do the little business she's doing. For this October, November, and December, she thought by December she'll be financially okay a little bit to go back home. But unfortunately, December didn't even come and she lost her life. Okay. Thank you so much. See, if, as for me, the way I understand it, the lady is the cause. 
you are sick you are not feeling well you are looking for money to go back home you are not even looking for money to take care of yourself first to be strong you get it because now we are talking about ambulance or this that she was she was strong because she was trying to raise money to go back at home I means she can she raise money strong. and go to the hospital she wasn't she, strong if you, if know, you say you someone is not strong is someone that is sleeping on the hospital bed if i'm moving yeah, around look for money get yes. my point investors yeah, sometimes like, sometimes when you're sick psychologically you're not okay to make a judgment you know your uh psychological behavior is impaired so when people are sick you know it's not just an especially let's say a chronic disease or something that's serious that need a surgery or need long-term treatment their mind is not like a normal person they get all type of paranoia they get all type of overthinking they mm. are scared of shame they are scared of you know even maybe sometimes their dignity their dignity won't allow them to go ask strange people but yeah. it's still a duty of the african community that knew her you know to stand by her for sure now replying to your to your question first of all good evening miss martha it's good, good evening, to see sir. you long time yeah I'm always I'm yes it's good to see you and because well, it's always about thank you so much it's always about positivity here now yeah. i want to assure you something uh that just came across my mind while you see you inspire you inspired me to reach this conclusion i mean i've probably thought about it but i never could collectively put it into words until now uh or into like a full deep thought uh and thanks to you now i am ready to make this thought clearly um dubai is only a canvas of our action if we know how to paint nicely we will give a good image and if we as africans don't know how to paint nicely we will give bad image or scribbles it's just dubai is trying to be number one in everything and they've reached okay they've reached so many levels in communication in traveling and uh so many so many things if you want it's all documented and it's all over the news okay in tourism etc etc but the point is it's also number one in exposing groups of people for example we know there's some groups of people from other continents that stick together we know that because we observe them yeah regardless regardless of how they treat other groups wrong or mm. right but when it come to them when it come to them dealing with each other they stick together mm -hmm. with with i don't know what's going on but it's a healthy conversation you see this is healthy because if there's a problem for and you need, we need to solve it we first need to discuss it yeah. right it's just yes, like sir. when someone need need uh need uh, uh health assistance they they first need to discuss it with a doctor then the yeah. doctor refer them to a specialist then the mm -hmm. specialist will you know write down or prescribe the remedy right so this is good this is healthy this is a healthy conversation and a safe space to discuss to right our wrongs yeah you see and yes. and we should and if there's something wrong happened last year and happened this year that doesn't necessarily it should happen next year thank if, you yeah right preparation mm -hmm. and planning so we can have a better perspective and better action yeah. yes right yes now sir. as africans when someone this is now we do have a heavy weight mm -hmm. in certain de certain departments because when someone make a mistake they look at us as as if we all did a mistake it, yeah you see mm -hmm. and uh, we know this is very clearly uh you know we saw this in so many occasions i don't want to mention a lot of it but visa all etc etc 
Uh, yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so now now what we should do is extreme positivity, extreme progress. And what does it hurt you? And what does it hurt me if we can help one another? Yeah. If it's not going to distract you from your career, if it's not going to distract you from your livelihood, if it's not going to distract you from from living your life every day, mm -hmm. at, but you at the same time you're able you're able to help even by sharing inf necessary information, yeah. right? Sharing mm -hmm. simple information, simple links, simple mm -hmm. that doesn't cost you anything mm -hmm. to those who came after you or for those who's looking for for the way to reach. Okay, reach into employment and to you know to settle, to progress. We should help one another. Yes, sir. And we should stop any if someone talk about one African, uh, and this African I don't even know their look. I don't I I don't even know so much about their country. Let's take for example. Uh, let's take for example. Uh, uh, guess. Let, let, let's take for example Congo. I don't know a lot of Congolese. I don't. Mm. Maybe in my whole life I met two or three Congolese people. Okay, but still, if someone speak bad about them, I have to stand up for them. And if yeah. I see them and they need help, I have to. You know, some African countries they tight together and some not. Let me give you an example. Ghana and Nigeria, Ethiopia and Eritrea, right? Uh, South Africa and Busu, they are neighbors, so they know each other better than other mm -hmm. neighbors. But still, we shouldn't look at it this way. We should look at it as we all Africans, because mm -hmm. united we stand, divided we fall. Yeah. Right? So yes. we should help one another. We should mm -hmm. also, we should always, if we step outside our door, we should remember what, that we are representing not only our city or our country, but our continent. If I'm stepping outside my door and I'm going to the supermarket, even if I'm going to the supermarket, it's not because I'm self-conscious, no. It's because I, I, I just like to give a good representation regardless, okay? I'm going to make sure I'm in my best P's and Q's, in my best, uh, you know, uh, in my best uh, mindset, in my best look, in my best behavior, and all of that. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. M men, for men, all these African women that you see, that you see at the metro station, that you see in the bus, that you see in public places, that you see in the mall, those are, those are your sisters. Yeah. Don't forget. Those are your sisters. Don't forget. Okay? When you play them, someone will play your sisters. When you disrespect them, someone will disrespect your sisters. Those are your sisters. Even if you are interested to know someone, do it with respect. Yeah. You see? Yes, sir. Um, and that's all I have. This is going back to what I said earlier. This is Dubai is only a cannabis. It's only a platform. It's only a space that you are able to create. Either you're going to create good images that's going to be stuck with people or not so good images that's going to make everybody talk about. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. You're welcome, Mr. Jamo. We really do appreciate you for all your amaze for your amazing contribution. And guys, please, you know, I want to remind you guys we are not here today to play blame games. We are not here to blame anyone. We are not here to blame our sister who is already resting, who is in a better place. We are here to think of the way forward. It has happened to her. It has happened. For those Hello, Sister Charlotte. Thanks for joining. For those who can remember, in the, for those who are just joining, we, we are discussing about some poor habits. 
we display as Africans in the diaspora that we think we should change. So we want you to check around your neighborhood. What have you seen in your neighborhood? I want us to discuss about this. So let's see how we can fix it. How we can, so people can give their contributions. So we just want to fix something. I shared a video you guys can remember very well about an African sister, a Cameroonian that died. And we have been reminding people that number one, when you find, like when you're faced with a challenge, maybe an accident or whatever, please call an ambulance. And we have shared the ambulance number. We have shared the firefighters. We have shared um, the police. And guys, please, I know some people came under that video and they were saying, ah, we don't have ambulance in Cameroon. We don't have ambulance in Nigeria. See, we are in Rome. When you go to Rome, do what Romans do. That is it. And this our sister that died the only love relative she has in this uae is her younger brother a very young man it could be anybody as the younger brother or sister this boy is faced with crisis he doesn't even know what to do the remains of his elder sister is in the uae with him he doesn't know what to do and you and I, we come live every Wednesday and Friday. We see we are discussing about harsh realities in the diaspora. I think somehow, as an African, it is your responsibility. It is my responsibility. It is our responsibility as Africans. I know someone came and said uh, it's good to belong to a group, a community, or a meeting, like he said. That's right. But unfortunately, this, our sister, doesn't belong to anything. So I'm pleading, I'll meet with the brother unfailingly tomorrow and I'll come back to you guys unfailingly Friday and give you guys updates about it. Let's just do our own little. We've been, we've been discussing about these things. We talk about growth. We talk about development. We talk about uplifting one another. This is something we are faced with. And I will say one dirhams is never small. You can say it's just one dirham. It's never small. It has happened to him today. You never know. We don't know who will sleep and don't, doesn't wake up tomorrow. We don't know who will kick his leg tomorrow. We don't know who is going to have an accident tomorrow. It's just life. And you cannot predict it. You cannot say this is what is going to happen and this is what will not happen and this is how long I'm going to exist on earth. So please, for all the participants we have, we'll start with Mr. Sunrise. Mr. Sunrise, please unmute yourself and chip in your contribution. What are some of the bad habits around your neighborhood? What is happening? We want to change the narratives. We cannot change the narratives if we don't talk about it. You're welcome, sir. Yes, uh, good evening, uh, my sister. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, I think I have to also appreciate the last speaker. You know, you have almost said everything. So, you make a you know, good point. And the little conclusion I have now, you know, uh, youth, uh, youth nowadays, you know, 90% uh, have, you know, got it wrong. In the center, they are imitating their brother, they are imitating their friends, they want to meet up, you know, one or two things, they engaging themselves in the wrong activities. So, mm -hmm. I really make them to take a, you know, wrong decision. And I will make them to, you know, end up in a very short time. Yeah. And uh, to stop this thing, I think we also, be, you know, advising ourselves, you know, give the proper training in the future. By the way, to our children are born and the ones okay. are just coming in. Yeah. That's why we, we continue to you know make this thing right. Not uh, when one is being growing up or maybe 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, you start preaching. Places have been corrupted. You get yeah. so the family, the parents have a lot role to play in each it's a family from back home Africa. You get so Mr. So it's not about just giving a bed. You give a bed, mm. one, two, three, four, you know, it's not a competition. Yeah. Take good care of them. You understand? Yes, it's not, it's, maybe I will not say maybe church or whatever. At least you know what is good or bad. Try mm -hmm. to impute a sense to their brain. Their brain. You get? Yes, because sir. You cannot be hiring this thing at uh, diaspora now. Yeah, this one, 
his the person has misbehaving, so trick, uh, you know, uh, for track the family background without this person. Check. You understand? Check, check. Yeah. You know, or 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 of this person, how they how they behave, how they you know this person brought up. Yeah, they, they, are, they are just the things. But the uh, problem, uh, you know, uh, resolution, re resolution. We want to do so for investigation or to do research. The root cause of this uh, problem, where is this my knowledge from? See, it is from family, community, government. You understand? Yes, you go to yes. Africa, we don't have government. Family fail us. Community now, even they try to amend some things, uh, we don't listen to them. So, mm -hmm. everybody just living like animal. So, you are going really a very long way. And if any country, by person, maybe by person, you are representing your country in a good image. Let, 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 let it be clear. I'm in Nigeria, fine. Anywhere you find yourself, you travel out of country, uh, your country. Be a good Nigeria, be a good citizen to your country. So that next time, people will see your country as a, you know, one of the best countries to, to, rec to recommend. No, you travel outside the country. You live in a way where like criminal activities, family cutties, you know, doing scamming and here and there, you know, nakedness and all. You say, where is this person? And in Nigeria. Where is the Cameroon? Where is the Ghana? It is very bad. You get? I was, uh, yesterday I was once uh, site working in uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, you know, it told me that one NATO said something that touched my heart. Said this building, almost about 18 floor, no Africa. They only accept Filipino because they believe that uh, only Filipino, they will say this, they will respond. If they don't have money, they say, we don't have money. Next few days, we'll give you money. Definitely, they will meet up. But some other uh, nationality, they want to be the landlord of the house. It's a bad thing, government, to, to, to be precise, to, to mention, you understand? Only yeah. Filipino, this is a good name, recommendation. They are fine, if you, are, if you go to any office now, you don't want to hire Filipino, sharp, sharp alley, Filipino, they don't strike, they don't stress. They are easy going, they competitive with what they have, they're not competitive or whatever, you see? So that is it. Now it's uh, the, the, the poverty in our mind and the greediness are making us to, you know, put our hand in, in a high tension. You want to arrive, you want to tell your family, you want to tell your community, your village people you arrive, of which all this money you are collecting for people. It's, it's a big cost to, 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 to many of us. You do not want wow. to... Uh, 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 from, yeah, from it. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you so much for your contribution. Thank you. Hello, please, due to time, let's move to the next speaker. Hello, Mr. Chris J. Uh, um, 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 yes, sir. So, so, something come to my mind, yeah? Okay. You, you know, eh, we are talking about, about, um, to erase some certain things that we used to do before and how to put our mind forward. Something came to my mind. Mm? There is 44 things that I want to say here. Mm? People might see it from, from, from a different angle, but it's good for us to have a, a timetable of a balanced diet. Balanced diet doesn't mean that you have to have, have enough money to, to balance your diet. Mm -hmm. No matter how small, you have to balance your diet because there's no your, your father is not here, no, your mother is not here to be no. able to look after you to balance your meal or all those things. First of all, you yeah. have to balance your diet, no matter how small, no matter how nutrient, no matter how small the nutrient is, balance yeah. it. And the second, one, the second one I want to say is that any medication you have not taken before, don't take it at night. Okay. Take it during the day. Don't take any medication you have not taken before. Don't take it at night. And the third one was, don't self medicate. Uh, so, so, um, don't medicate. Don't self medicate. You see how it is? Self medication yeah. is bad. It's very bad because we used to try it. Um, let me take. Um, I'm feeling headache. Let me take prastamol. I, I will feel okay. We are used to it. We are used to taking prastamol, flagy for malaria. We are used to for stomach. Uh, we used to, you know, medicine we used to take in Africa that like, you can take easily. The, 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 the situation don't have changed. The, the weather here is different. So yeah. some, some of us, eh, some of us like to drink water regularly because here the heat is too much. And before you know it, you your body will be losing water. If you're not careful, 
you 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 your body will demand the water from you. You you think you are pretty head there. You want to drink plaster more. Some of us are, are because of their their work or their nature of where they are staying. Their mm -hmm. body is, is using excess water, and that they don't notice that. They feel that um, when I was in my country, I used to drink plaster more. My headache would go. Some of some of us are stressed, over stress. We cause headache for you just to for you to see sleep for, for like, like one hour, or that means to you get yourself you'll be drinking plaster more. Self medication is bad, and the the third one I want to say, people some people didn't even know the 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 that the, the, their body reacts to some 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 medication they don't know up to mm -hmm. now. People don't know that their body reacts to some medication. If yeah. you go to the hospital, doctor doctor will ask you, um, is your body uh, are, you, are you allergic to any medicine? Yeah. You open, open your mouth. Some, some of us will open your open, open your mouth as if he's talking something that he is uh, he, they've not even heard before. Some people are allergic to some um let me call um what what's this medicine? I think my mother is allergic to what is this medicine? Chloroquine. Chloroquine. He used to used to scratch scratch her body if if she drinks chloroquine. So every, everybody was every every each and every one of us one balance your meal two. Don't take medication you have not taken before at night. Don't self-medicate yourself. Drink a lot of water to stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. Lack of water in the body kills somebody if you, if you don't if care is not taken. And the and the fifth one is is know know your body well and know the medicine you can take and the medicine you cannot take. Wow. Arrest my case. Thank you so much, Mr. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really do appreciate you. I hope you guys are listening because whether we like it or not, it's high time we start taking care of ourselves. It's high time we start making sure we eat balanced diet. Make sure your meal is balanced. Like it's already bad enough that most of the things we consume here, they have used a lot of chemicals on them. Some of them do not even mature as we let our crops back in Africa to mature. Your system has been used to the system back in Africa. We have been used to the climate. But finding yourself here, you just have to find a way to adapt, fit in. Mr. P, man, like your contribution was so powerful. We really do appreciate you. Hello, Mr. Chris Jr. Please unmute yourself. Hi. Hi, thanks for joining. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. The platform is all there. We have a very, very sad situation. I'm sure you have been here for a while and you've been listening. So what can you say about it? All right. Before I chip in any contribution, I have a question to ask. Okay. Uh, this our sister that passed away. You said she has been sick for more than a year, right? Yeah. And she lost her job. So has she been has she not been able to secure a job for that period of time no she was a nurse and she had employment for those who remember during the period of corona so many nurses had jobs and when corona had ended they lost their jobs most of them went back home but she okay. was hoping she would get something okay this means she was not only jobless but she was sick I, and, and, and she decided not to go home, hoping that things would get better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to be clear on that aspect. It's yeah. quite unfortunate. May her so rest in peace. And I can just, I cannot even imagine what the brother is going through in that. Country. That's my problem. I cannot I, even I, imagine. I am, I am worried for the younger brother. Those people in Cameroon, they are better. This little boy here. Yeah. All right. So the contribution is the topic is some what the the bad behaviors we yeah do in in this diaspora and stuff. Yes. Okay. What I can contribute is, you know, one of the bad behaviors I have noticed is when some of our brothers and sisters leave Africa and come here, they, they try to compare their standards of what they were back home to what they are coming here to do. You get, 
like some people who say they cannot do some certain kind of jobs because maybe they are master's degree holders they are you know back home i was i was maybe a cashier a secretary this kind of you know you compare your lifestyle back home and you yeah. want to meet that standard yeah not knowing that the level of economy the standards of living back home is not compared to this one year our level yes. of education is considered as almost nothing nothing so for you to get that kind of living standard compared to back home you need to you need to get into the system mm -hmm. you cannot just come with your master's degrees and and, and and hope to just fit in it doesn't work like that mm -hmm. you need to start from somewhere so what i am saying is this habit of coming for the first time and having this vast variety of choices is not good you get yes, you sir. have you have to start from somewhere after starting from somewhere and then you have to start investing in yourself that is how you get into the economy investing in yourself getting certificates learning courses and stuff that is how they recognize you you get so you want people to stop picking jobs yeah i if you come from the beginning i will advise that anything that is at hand you take, take it, it. Yes. yes anything that is at hand you take it from there you learn how the economy works you learn how to get into the economy you even have something you have the finances to learn something to get into a course to to do whatever you need to do first of all wow get, and what what a big shout out to my brother jamal for what he said he said the diaspora is is just reciprocating our actions if you have this bad mentality about what is going on like you surround yourself with this negativity trust me negative things will come yeah yeah the last time i was i was on your live i talked something about guiding our mind our mind is so precious our mind is 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 all we have we might not see the future or what will happen next but our mind, what we keep in our mind, the positivity mm -hmm. we keep in our mind helps us a lot. We always have to stay positive. I know it's not easy. I know there are some distractions, there are some negativity sitting us left and right, but your mind is you. You have control over it. Yeah. You get you can actually control what is going on in mm -hmm. your mind. So positive thinking, like Jamal said, is very important. You get? Yes, sir. Yeah. Positive thinking is really important. So we have to stay positive. And also what uh, P. Man said about taking care of our health. Yeah. Our health is too important. We have to take care of our health, no matter how little it is. Just the water he mentioned, taking water. Like, for example, yeah. there was one time I was watching this program from uh prophet tb joshua the late prophet tb joshua yeah he gave a recommendation that when you get up in the morning before taking any activity you have to take like if your system can carry you have to take like 1.5 liter of water wow. early in the morning you have to take if your system cannot carry the one liter is okay but you have to take water early in the morning before engaging in any activity that helps to clean your system a lot yeah like a lot so water is good no matter how little wow the balanced diet is you have to make sure you take it your health is very important and i also say for the rest of us listening there are some situations where we know we have to keep going we have to keep pushing but are some situations where you keep going until your body can no longer go again yeah you have to you have to retreat retreating is important it's not like you're giving up 
but you just have to retreat, tra strategize, and you move on. You get. For example, the case of this our sister that has been sick and 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 and, and with no job. You said she she has a legacy of bringing her her brother, right? Yeah. That is good enough. Like that is her legacy. She came, she pulled through, and she brought a brother. So going yeah. back home to to retreat, to gather herself, and maybe coming back or something, will not be will not be too much. You get. Yeah. If her system was not going through, again, she she should not do more than. You get. She has to know her limit, like yes, the rest of us. A man notes thyself. Yeah, you know, now it's for us who are still alive. Yeah, this is for us yeah. who are still alive. Man knows yeah. himself. You know the limit your body can take. If you cannot push through, I beg you, do not Go struggle. Home. Do not extend. Yeah. Even even machines, when machines are overworked, they break down. Yeah, yeah. Yes, when machines are overworked, they break down. So if you, can, if you push through until you see that it's not going, you have to retreat. Seriously, you have to retreat. So, for now, I think that is my conclusion. Wow, thank you so much, Mr. P. You're welcome. Okay. Mr. P, man, do you want to say something? Really Ma like Mata, eh? Yeah. Mata, eh? I want to ask a question. The audience can answer anyone. Do we African believe that eh, there is a there is a is there is sickness that that is will be happening to us, even if we take foreign medicine, it it will not go away. Yeah. Until we talk, take our local medicine, our roots and herbs medicine, yes, we will be okay. Do I we believe that? Believe that. So? I strongly believe that. But you know, it's not like this sister was actually. I don't know if she had some medication. But if she had, then she was actually practicing the self-medication you talked about because she never went to the hospital. Her first time going to the hospital was when her brother came and others that they were struggling to put her in the taxi and take her there. And got so kind that she ended up dying maybe in the taxi and the ambulance people came and confirmed that she was dead. Because if she had died, she didn't die. So don't forget who you are. Having a dead person in your villa, it means maybe you are going to go that villa, right? And that so villa the, the has so many Africans. If they close that villa... The next, the next, the next question I want to ask is that when do we know the limit that we cannot for for um, um, for the medicine cannot get us well when do we know the limit obviously when you're because, you know you, you, you know why i used to ask eh? when i was in, in, in nigeria i think a friend of mine used to take medicine, but whenever he's taking medicine his body will be like a an in another form but he's, he, he, he used to go to, if once he, 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 he comes to that extent, he used to go to his, um, I think it's his uncle, so, his uncle. Then his uncle would just give him one, one root or uh, that he bought. Once he drinks that root, he'll be okay. So I'm not asking, when, when, when are we going to know, when, when, to what extent do we say that, okay, I need to go home and go and, here have a salon and uh, look after me. One thing, one, we need to be reminded that most of those drugs are being made with our herbs. It's not like they took other things from elsewhere to fabricate those drugs. They have added other chemicals. The, the herbs have gone through several processes to come out with those products they give us at, as drugs. They took from herbs to drugs. So obviously, you taking the natural herbs we know is even more effective than some of those uh, uh, drugs because we have herbs that we call that this one is paracetamol. 
that if you take this herb, your headache will go completely. We have herbs for several diseases. And even Indians believe in this. So I don't know what others are thinking, but I believe 100%. Since those drugs are being fabricated from our herbs, obviously your herbs will be more effective. But now the difference is these people have studied. They call themselves doctors. And actually they are working. And these doctors will know the drugs to prescribe for you based on maybe their whatever test they must have done on you and gotten their results when it comes down to the traditional medicine your your baba or whoever will be administering this treatment they don't they don't do any testing they don't some people don't even know what's happening to you so number one if you're going to treat yourself traditionally you first of all need to go to the hospital and know what's happening to you. Then you come back to treat yourself traditionally. Ah, uh, Mr. P, man, does that even answer your question? Because your question is, when should we know that we need to go back to our traditional way, our herbs? Obviously, when you're taking those drugs and they're not working, and you already know what's wrong with you, try the traditional method. Okay, uh, I have something to say, right? Okay, sir. I I believe in in our traditional medicines and stuff. I totally believe in it, one hundred percent. But the truth is, we are out of home, and it's 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 almost impossible for you to get those helps. It's almost impossible. So, it's it's high time. We are not saying you should not believe in in this white medicines and stuff. You have to believe in them. I believe that our system has a way of working. You get? Yeah. I believe that if we are sick, let's just say for this is a normal lay, layman understanding of the human system. The human system is built in a way that we have defense mechanism. We have blood cells, the white blood cells, the red blood cells and stuff. These ones are just layman. These blood cells help to fight. They, 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 they defend our body from illness. Mm. You get it. And yes, these sir. blood cells are not supposed to be neglected. They are supposed to be enforced. It's just like, it's just like in the military, when the military, they go for battle, the ones on the front line, after fighting for some times, they exchange them, they swap mm. them. They cannot keep one force for there, 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 and there. Like, everybody is going to die. You get? So we need to enforce. This is for us that are not able to, 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 to be back home to get these helps. We, we, we need to do something to reinforce this, our defense mechanism. For example, what I do is, me personally, what I do is, once in a while, I can say maybe twice in a month, I take this uh, garlic. You know garlic, right? Yeah. I take garlic and ginger, those two soft. Ooh. I blend them. Oh. I, I blend them together and I take them as tea. These, these wow. are just natural helps that I... It's not like mm -hmm. I take them when I'm sick. I just take them twice in a month. Okay. This this helps um, to like reinforce my immune system. You get. We must not take medicines only when we are sick. It's only these traditional medicines where we are sick. Yeah. We take these medicines to enforce our defense mechanism to fight to get them to give them more strength to fight against this sickness. Yeah. But my mama, let me let me say something before before I I was interrupted. So as as I was saying before, eh. Mm. To drink, to drink, to drink um, ginger and garlic is good, but what works for A might not work for B. Mm. Some people might not. Some people, some people are allergic to ginger and garlic. Some, some people are allergic to ginger. Some people are allergic to garlic. Some don't even like the smell. It turns their their body. Body body system differs from one another. Yeah. What what works for me might not work for you. 
I might like to drink lemon every morning with, with, with hot water. You might not like it. If you drink it, you, your body will be irritated. You will not even feel, feel at ease. Yeah. So it's, our, our systems are different. That's why our faces are different. What, what I'm saying about local medicine is that we have to know when, we, when enough is enough. I'm saying this because my, 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 my brother that brought me in UAE, mm. where he was working before, his hands, his hands was, I think, I think the machine he was working with wants to cut off his hands. Jesus. So his hands, he's work, he, he, the, the hand want to die, die in this way. His hands was not even functioning anymore. He was going to hospital, from hospital to hospital. They were dealing the, the hands for, for over six months. The hand mm. is no, his, 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 thumb, his thumb is no more moving. The other ones are about to follow to, to stay at, at ease. Mm. To the extent that, that his, 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 his new brother, I don't call him, say, this thing is just a, something that we are going to, you, you, if you give him medicine, you will be rubbing on it and tie, tie on, on, the, on the wound for a while. Yeah. Then we will keep on stretching the hand. Just give him some, 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 some um, let me say, let me, some easy way to do to do do, do the hand, but mm -hmm. he he told him that he's going to come back home. That let let let, let, let him treat that, that hand locally. Mm -hmm. That my that my 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 oga. I'm calling calling I'm calling him my oga because he's he's my oga. He, he was. Yeah. He now left UAE and went back home. Mm -hmm. They now gave him some medicine. He every morning he would rub the medicine, and they would they will they will massage the the hands. It's not, it's, not, it's not even up to one month of his vacation. That's hands that he has been here for six months. The hands was was swollen, smelling. Wow. One month, that's hands begin to move. Before he completes his vacation, you barely know that something happened to that hand. Wow. That, that, that thing that happened to him made me, to, made me to realize that sometimes what we, are, what, we are, what we are here, going to the best hospital in the world, going around, mm -hmm. going around, going around, Sometimes I'm, I'm not saying that, that, that all the time. I'm not, I think sometimes it might yeah. not help you. The best option to you to, might to go home and see your <laughs> father. Your father will take you to one place. They will enter the bush and bring one or two halves, boil in the water, give you, or they will. So some some of them they will put inside a bucket. Say use your top lapper, cover yourself for five minutes or ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. You it seems like as if that you breathe you breathe in a fresh air. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this because no one when enough is enough. Try to find your way, way back home. Yeah. Then teach yourself in, in, in your local origin, where you came from. Teach mm -hmm. yourself with your local halves from your from your from your from your, from your side. Mm -hmm. You will get well. I'm not wow. saying that this is my own opinion. Somebody, somebody, yeah. somebody, somebody opinion might, might differ from. But I'm yeah. telling you about my, 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 my uncle did this with roots and herbs. He don't he has not drank plastic in his life. He has not drank wow. English medicine in his life. Wow, he he has his own roots and herb. He used to he lives up up, up to I think is he lives up to something years. Mm. He, 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 uh, he he died on 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 natural natural death, but he he's, he all his life from his childhood he he's he's drinking herbs up to the day he he, he died. So I'm saying wow. this for for all all of us to learn that there are there mm -hmm. are there are some some diseases that they will be going from. From from point A to point B, but the solution is back back home at, at your backyard, yeah. growing grow, growing in, in a tree where you don't, you don't. So that's what I'm saying. I'm, you, I'm not saying that everybody, everybody should go home, but I'm talking for for my own experience, what I have witnessed no. and what I have seen with my eyes. I understand what you're saying. It depends on how you're feeling yourself, right? You, of course. It's only you that has your system that knows how it functions. Yes, how, and how it, it works. Yeah. When it gets to a point you can do certain things, some parts of your body are not responding the way they normally respond. It's obvious. And you've been, you've been taking drugs and you feel like there's no, like, no working. It's true. Yes. I agree with it back home. Be, because you are, you, are, you, are, you are the one that, 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 that knows, even if the doctor uses the machine, machine to assess you and you say you are okay, you yourself will know whether you are okay or not, you're not okay. Yeah. Uh, last time, last time, I think it was last, last, last four months, I went to the, the, the hospital and after my, my test and everything, 
my BP was, uh, my, my temperature was extra high. The machine didn't, didn't even notice it. See? I came tomorrow. I came tomorrow to 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 to, to take um sick leave because I, I was I was I was still sick. I went. I come to next tomorrow to take uh tomorrow to take sick leave um, um letter from the from the doctor. I came yeah. to the doctor. The doctor wanted to come, come to assess me again. My body heat was reflecting to the doctor. My oh. body heat was the doctor said okay. He, he touched me and said, are, are you still having fever? I said, I don't even understand what is happening to myself. He now gave me the next injection again. Say, I, I, I should not go. I don't have to leave. I should stay. For, let, let she look, look after me first before I go. Yeah, so the shoes are so you are the one that knows, knows how, how, your, your, how, you, how your, even if everybody, everybody confirms, say, your, this is past. You, you, are, you yourself okay, will know okay, when okay. you are okay. Yeah. If you're not okay, look for alternative. But wow. don't self medicate. But don't self medicate. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying it over and over again. Don't self medicate. Yeah. Look for alternative experts that will help you. Wow. Because life thank is so, so life is so precious. You. Yeah. Thank you so much. Like you, you have been amazing, always. But you see this night. Oh, oh, it's on another level. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate you for your contribution. Hello, Mr. Blooder. Mr. Blooder, mother. How are Hello. you doing? Thank you for joining. Thank you very much. Hello to everyone. Hello, sir. Oh, uh, I heard. Yeah. Uh, pardon? Hello, talking? sir. You've got the mic. Yeah. Uh, this is what I want to say to a lot of Africans who are in the diaspora, right? Uh, mm -hmm. There's one thing about culture, you know. Culture is not just the way we think and the way we do things, but I think uh, the environment also, our environment, cultural environment also has an influence in our culture, right? So um, there are things that we should understand as Africans, as a people, that uh, we come from a culture where herbs, herbs actually play a great role when it comes to our health, you know? So we we shouldn't we shouldn't embrace other people's culture and forget our own culture now we shouldn't take the names label on our culture to be witch to be whatever they call it you know that is erasing our identity because we identify ourselves with our culture that's the truth yeah one thing we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, uh, allow others other people's culture or ideas about our culture wipe away our identity yeah uh talking about uh african herbs uh i'll say we we grow up from a, a place where our, our ancestors right they 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 did not just believe okay because uh they practice it and it actually yeah. helped them now a lot of things have destroyed our culture that has made even the leaves that used to help us yesterday does not longer help us today because mm -hmm. of uh, the way we identify with our culture now, does it? It's been money-minded now. I think our culture can be bought with money now. That's how we've sold our own culture, something we identify with. Uh, yeah. uh, back home those days, when you are suffering of cold or maybe headache, uh, you, you won't see people rushing to get uh, paracetamol or panadol or whatever we had some things that we uh, we, we would just eat and before you know it 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 takes the headache away and with the ladies who had menstrual cramps they had they had something like ginger they could just chew and drink warm water and it goes away but today you see them taking panadol taking uh, numerous pills just to calm down the pains and trust me this is destroying their system the more rather than because our herbs are organic right so you yeah. won't tell me paracetamol is organic that's not no so yeah really let me say let me let me just you know i was just trying to throw uh some light on on on, on that yeah, yeah thank you very wow. much for having me on thank you so much sir. we really do appreciate you for coming wow that was an amazing contribution and indeed our herbs are still very very effective we just we just have to remember that truly we have a culture 
don't tell yourself because you're in the diaspora and you've been seeing what's happening in diaspora their own way of life and you forget yours no and like mr Piman said you have your body it's your system even when you go to the hospital the doctor will ask you questions because from then he doesn't even know what's happening to you so he will ask you questions before doing his examination then sending you for various uh, uh, tests to know exactly what's happening to you but no matter the treatment they give you if you don't see you don't still feel your body like it's responding back to its normal self baba go back home explain to your parents your family members they will know someone that knows someone that is very very good with these herbs and the person will assist you i even remember growing up we used to believe uh when you have pain this first bond that when they, when you wake up early in the morning and you come to them they help you maybe massage that particular spot it will go away maybe before their first urine something like that it will the pain will go away like I remember when I was small, when we used to play rough play, that we used yeah. to enjoy ourselves. There is one leaf, there is one leaf, I don't know what they used to call it, call it in, in this country. But we call it obashiri. It's common. Mm. We, 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 we use it to, to, to darken blackboard then. If you got the, if you got the leaf, just, you will just, Every every child in our community knows. Every child in our locality, everywhere knows about it. Just fold it there. You have to you use your hand, two hands, grind it together. Then add some water or your spit on it. Then yeah. use it on that on that wound that is that is pouring out blood. Just keep it on top of it. Two seconds. That that wound will heal. That was the, wow. the, no, the It's just like a common remedy to our injuries. Then yeah. But I don't know why, wow. where all this is, all this is are now. I don't wow. know where all this are now. Wow. It reminds me of, it reminds me of, of old, old memories of how we used to treat ourselves then, locally, yeah. with leaves and herbs. Yeah. The ones we know, because we used to play in rough, rough play then, we used to injure ourselves on yeah. bicycle or in stones or on stone roads. And we have our, just, you, you stretch your hand like this, you get, get it from the bush, then you, do the thing, the blood will go away. Before you know it, it's, next minute you are playing again. And Mr. It works. Uh, Mr. P, man, do you even know, uh, I remember years ago, my grandmother used to even know this herb. It looks like uh, granite leaves. They say there is a barren woman around our neighborhood or wherever they are coming from. She will just squeeze this herb, gives you to drink, and trust me, before you know it, you'll get pregnant. Barrenness will vanish your way. But if we, if people are talking about barrenness now, you start hearing them talking about surrogacy and several other things. We've just forgotten about it. It's true. We've forgotten about our culture. We've forgotten about our tradition, things we grew up seeing, and it's terrible. It's, 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 it's terrible, it's terrible. It's terrible. And, and uh, l l let us not keep our mind from what we are saying that we lost our sister, it's painful. But yeah. we that are living have to take care of ourselves. That was the, yeah. the, 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 uh, the lesson learned here. We have to yeah. take care of ourselves yeah. and we have to know when, when we have to go back home and yeah. let our older ones, uh, uh, oh, let's, no, oh, let our, our elder ones Look at us. So, so yes. the, a matter, matter. There was a time when, when, when even your mother said, "If we look at you, say no, 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 you, yeah, you're not feeling good." Yes. Your eyes, your, your eyes, not the same. And she'll be like, "We don't have enough blood." Okay, okay. You see where I'm going? That that so somebody might might be here. Eh? He will be short of blood, but but his friend beside him doesn't have the experience. He don't even know what is going going yeah. on with him. Yeah. But if you if if you went back home. You, if you want someone to you come back, you want to run to embrace you, say, no, 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 you're not feeling good. Yeah. Come, 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 come. He will take you somewhere or he will put something for you. Do one or two things. Yeah. No, no, matter, no, no, matter, no matter how old we are, we still need a mother in our life. We still need, we still need, we still need an elder in our life because what they, they have experience more than us and they have been cooking with pot and they, are, they have cooking intensities more than us. Mm -hmm. So we will not neglect them. 
because he, uh, let, let me say for here we don't have other ones because I, I have not seen most of our other other ones here that are of the eighties of the seventies. I've not seen them here. I've not seen anyone here. So those wisdom that we 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 need in our day lives, those enforcements um, that we need in our day lives. So we are like we are, we are lacking it somehow because if we are in back home. At least yeah. our parents and our older ones and our great grandmothers they know what how to keep us good mm. go home and go home and, and, and feel at home if you feel like a, a child let someone take, take care of you. let someone look at you and say that you don't look good your hair is, is tattered let me put it the way it's supposed to be yeah we have to we have to if you feel that that, that that's oh my, my body is not the same take a leave if you are working they just take one, one, one month leave or take your vacation go go back home let people, people, people that that knows you well look after you. Wow! I'm telling you, it's it's it's, 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 it's good to be home. It's good to be home once 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 in a while. At I least I will never lie. I miss home. Even if I'm not going to have someone that is going to come for me, the fact that I'll just I'll see mud, I'll see behind my grass, I'll touch it, ah, it's going to give me a little bit of satisfaction. You 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 you, you feel the fresh air from 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 the cool breeze of of, of the rain. Fresh you, 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 you will drink fresh pan wine. Something oh. that, 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 that can re, re, refresh your, 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 your call you back to childhood. At least, you know, you know, eh, you know, eh, 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 Mata, eh, do you know that nature plays a, a great role in our, in our, in our cam, calmness of spirit? I don't know how really? to put this way, but I, this way I put it my, my way. Nature plays a good, a great role. In your inner soul calmness. Okay. If you if you are home, if you are home, nature and the yeah. and the way nature is, yeah, will give you peace of mind. Obviously, yeah, yeah. You're correct, sir. We give you, you peace of mind. Yeah. If you mind, so it's round of. Okay. Uh, it, it, so, 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 what, what, what I'm saying is that that if you're not getting yourself, yeah, your next, your your, your next target should be going to head home. back home. Yeah. Don't for, 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 forget about if you don't if you don't have savings because that's this one thing that, that we that we we have trouble with. We don't have savings. People mm -hmm. are going to laugh at home. Of course, if you come back and we don't, if, if, you know, if you come back, then they, they, they expect you to be spending. But if you come back, you are sick. That some people will laugh at you. This is not what we should be, to be thinking about. If you are sick, you are sick. Think about your health first, because uh, it's someone that, that that has health look 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 for money mm. and get. Uh, so, would you focus on, on our health first? If, if you if you go back home, don't think about savings first, because uh, savings will will come once you once you have your health in in, in, in good shape. Yeah. So, wow. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's so sad, Dave. It's so sad, Sham. It's really, really sad. You know, it really troubles me because for me, I'm just feeling for her younger brother because she was the one that sponsored his coming to Dubai. And if this is happening, you can imagine the frustration. I don't even know how that boy is coping, sincerely. Like, well, Mr. P, man, I have to go. Yes, you guys have been amazing. I want no to problem, thank no you problem. From Mr. Tomorrow, Mr. Jambo. Yeah, see you guys on Friday. I'll be coming with more updates to see what we can do as African community on TikTok. We should not just be running our mouths on social media and when things happen, we go mute. Please. Thank you so much. Mr. P Man, God will bless please. you for reminding us. Our, our, our viewers, our viewers and our listeners, please take care of yourself. Life yeah. has no spare tire, have no duplicates. Mm -hmm. You have no, no, only one life to live and take care of it. Be your brother's keeper. Mm -hmm. Help your brother when, when he or she is in need. Yeah. You might not know why you might need the help back. Wow. Thank you, guys, and good night. Bye bye. Good night, Mr. Pima.